That way, it would be towards Williamsport. And back this way, Harper's Ferry, Great Falls, Washington, D.C. I'm out today on the Priority 600X, 680X, the new version. And this is where we're at right now. Shepherdstown. Of course, we'll be going downriver. And we'll hit all those here in a little bit. Looks like a good day out. It's about 11 o'clock almost. A little late start, but uh, loaded up. This is the fully loaded gear for the camping on the CNO towpath. All my tomorrows, finally today. I seem to get up earlier today than what it had been. And it seems like when I get up too late, it just seems like not enough hours in the day to make it worth coming back out. So today is the day I'm out here. It handles well. I've got about 70 pounds of gear on here. Uh, my camping and cooking gear mostly. Uh, a bag of uh, clothes with a, a couple of uh, thermal layers and uh, food, some water, but 70 pounds. So I have my list on my bike page, Journey on a Bike. I've also posted, I think, a couple other places. Now the bike itself overall is handling well. Um, I do seem to be, it's, it seems like it's dragging a little bit, a little uh, friction. Uh, it, it slowed me down a little bit compared to what I'm used to on the Surly Disc Trucker. And obviously coming straight off the e-bike too, because that could be it, having parts of the, part of the motor uh, help me out on the e-bike. But the Priority ADX, 680X, uh, there is no motor obviously. What's down here is the gearbox. That's a C12. Well... Come on to focus. There you go. I think it focused. Anyways, it's a C12. 12-speed. Um, the intervals seem to be fine. Uh, but I'm struggling a little bit with the seat. The saddle is fine. Uh, just a, It's just a tad forward too far. So I'll have to check. And maybe I've got it backwards. I don't think I do. I mean, could that be possible? I just thought about that. Anyways, uh, it seems I'm a little bit forward on that. So I'll, I'll check that out. Um, I am, I did raise the saddle some, um, compared to my disc trucker that I'm used to pet peddling. And the height seems to be all right now, but I'm just a tad forward too far. And my handlebars seem to be too low. Uh, actually it's to the point where do I really want to keep going? I mean, today's just a test ride. I was only out for a few days here trying to do a test ride. Uh, so I'm just... Second guess myself, do I really want to keep going with it, knowing that uh, the couple adjustments need to be made? So I'll get off here and take a look at that saddle once. But the 680X, I'm on the Sino towpath. I've camped enough, so I know all the camping gear works over the years. But really, the main issue today is just trying the 680X and uh, under a full load. Uh, configuration so I have a Brooks B67 saddle and I like it it feels comfortable it's wider than some others most I think 205 millimeters uh, check my specs on that uh, but the Brooks B67 uh, it's a leather saddle 
This one's uh, already treated, and I like it. It's pretty much stocked the way it came. I haven't made any adjustments to it, uh, but I do need to make some. Like I say, I need to move the saddle back. It's just the way I'm pedaling, it just feels like I'm too far forward on it. So get that back some. And my handlebars just lower and lower than I'm used to. Uh, my weight seemed to be bearing on my wrist and my hands too much. So if I can raise that up another inch and a half or so, I think I'll be fine. I'm comparing this really to my surly disc trucker with my trucking bars. Uh, actually, I think trekking bars may be good for this, but that's to come yet. I'll at least raise the handlebar and get that situated. Sixty two. Lock 34, Harpers Ferry area. On your left. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you.
58. Little Catoctin Creek is down here. It's been restored. That's where the low crossover used to be. And for a while now they've had the replacement bridge in. And it is right there. It's very nice. Little Catoctin Creek, culvert 82. Mile post 52.5 east of Brunswick. How you doing?
Okay, here's where I'm at now. One rocks. 48.2. Right there at the top of the map. Right up here. So I'll make my way down. Of course, found the river. The White's Ferry. And for the night, Gonna probably hit Marble Quarry area. Might go as far as Chisel Branch, but I don't think so tonight. Tomorrow, make my way down Great Falls area. And Swain's Lock area. That'll be a short day tomorrow. And then into Washington, D.C. on the third day. And flip up to the zoo. Check that entrance out. I haven't been up there. So this is the Point of Rocks right here, 48.2. Calico Rocks campsite, about 47. Look both ways and cross. Nolan's Ferry, 44.3. It's a day use park, no camping. And a boat launch. No one's ferry, 44.3. Indian Flats campsite. Forty-two, just east of Monocacy Boulevard, Aqueduct. What I said, Boulevard for forty-two, just east of the Aqueduct.
Well, it's lunchtime, past lunchtime actually, and it's PBJ again. I have it readily available in this cooler kit that I keep on the front rack. I was going to eat at Brunswick, but I waited an hour for the train and it was still stuck. Train yard working on their trains, doing what they're doing. So I didn't eat at Brunswick. Called the mayor, let him know. Of course, I know he knows. They can't do anything about it. But it's just one of those annoying things that when you come through, you'd like to be able to eat lunch. But this is why I pack. Oh, by the way, don't put your bug spray away yet. It the Mosquitoes are still out. It's warmed up today some. So uh, don't put your bug spray away yet. You'll need that. They swarmed around me right as soon as I stopped. I'm right about mile post, mile post 58. After this, on to Harper's Ferry and Shepherdstown. Lord, thank you for this day, for all that you've done for us, for me, for my family, for everybody. Father, we recognize you as the Almighty and thank you for all that you uh, will do for us in the future as well. In these things, we do thank you and the blessings that we receive in this food. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Well, hopefully you're in, in the frame and you can hear me and see me okay. Um, started out in Shepherdstown today, drove over, parked at the NPS parking lot, and I rode the Priority 680X. It still has a lot of tweaking to do on the uh, handlebar, and I knew that, even on the uh, light the rides that I've done. Only haven't done too much, maybe 20 miles or so, and then I did that one back in August, July or August, about 40 miles, pulled the Bob trailer. And uh, anyways, uh, it, it worked really well. The load really uh, was uh, what I expected, about 70 pounds, four panniers, and this little extra bag over here. Um, that's all camping and cooking and some food, some clothes for cold weather. Uh, so really not a whole lot, but I guess to everybody else, or who doesn't pack as much, it looks like a lot. But it's, uh, I'd say, 75% uh, all camping gear. I can get one, well, I'll get my tent, the air mattress, everything, basically the tent and everything, my whole sleeping kit in a pillow, in blow-up pillow, into the uh, one 35-liter bag. Uh, it can barely fit in a 24-liter bag. But I have more room, plus I like the pouch on the outside of the 35-liter bags that I can store stuff in. Like my poncho, uh, emergency vest, just reflective vest. So anyways, I made myself peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Um, I've got my stove, my cook kit. I don't really have a whole lot of groceries. Uh, mostly just uh, bagels, my peanut butter and jelly, a little bit of bread. I forgot my other loaf of bread. Um, so this morning when I headed out, about 11 o'clock, I hit the uh, towpath up at MP73 around Shepherdstown. But when I headed out, I was actually going to go from Williamsport going towards Cumberland. But at the last minute, decided to uh, just do this section uh, to try out the Priority 680X. Um, and like I said, the uh, whole gear kit, it, that worked really good. I think the bike handled it well. I think it'll continue to handle the, the weight. Um, I'm probably right at about 113 pounds with food, three or four bottles of water, uh, and the camping gear, cooking kit gear. A little bit of food, water. Uh, so, um, yeah, so I need to get the uh, bike into the shop, have them look at and size me up. I think, the, well, I know the handlebar has to come up uh, it, it's got to rise up probably a good inch and a half I'm just not used to a low one I'm basing everything based on the way I have my surly disc trucker set up I've had that for about eight years haven't rode it for about two years uh, because I've been riding these other couple bikes um, so anyways it, it's supper time so I'm going to take a bite Um, like I say, you have four panniers, two 35 liter, two 24 liter, plus a little bit extra in this uh, rack duffel bag kit. Got the tent all set up. I'll show you that here in a little bit if it doesn't get too dark. Um, but what else can I say uh, as far as the bike goes? Well, you've, you've seen the 680, you actually know what it's like, you know what it is, but it's the one with the gearbox, the 12-speed gearbox, Pinion makes it. Priority, uh, put everything together, so it's a prior, priority type bike. So yeah, I'll go ahead and get it worked up into the shop, get my uh, handlebar raised up. I'm thinking about switching over sometime to a trekking butterfly bar like I have on my Surly just trucker but it was different today riding it riding the 680x and not having the e-bike <laughs> um, even though I don't use the e-bike motor too much uh, just one when I ride it, it would be uh, only about eight percent but I noticed a, a difference now the load I had like I say about 70 pounds camping cooking stuff cold weather gear um, I can probably cut that down 
by at least two thirds during the warm weather. Um, but I like the e-bike and I'm gonna set it up. I was gonna try it first, but my the kit to add the Old Man Mountain Divide rack on the front, I ordered the wrong size uh, through axle. The through, through axle uh, that the ADX takes is the 12, mil 12 millimeter, but the uh, other one, the Priority Current e-bike, it takes a 15 millimeter. Uh, same width, same length, same threading, everything would have been identical except for that. So kind of messed up there, but I'm hoping that it'll it'll work. It comes from under your Tuesday. Uh, today's Sunday, so it'll come come tomorrow. But I'm gonna I think just head still down the D.C. area, maybe flip over to the zoo. I haven't been up there on the bike, so that's a couple miles off the towpath. So I'll try that and see what that's like. Well, it's getting near sunset here. Uh, I don't see the sun anymore. It, it's set down below the trees. It's west is that way. Um, the Potomac River is over here behind me. Well, in front of me. Behind me is the towpath. Um, so I'm going to finish my sandwich. Uh, work on a couple of uh, wafer bars, breakfast bars. If I get hungry again, I can eat some... Uh, bagels. Um, I do have oatmeal and some uh, potatoes, mashed potatoes to cook up if I'm really good hungry. I've got some beans. I didn't really do a whole lot of uh, uh, grocery shopping. I didn't take it too much anymore. Usually I've got uh, at least two or three good grocery type meals, but uh, but I don't. I've got some rice. I could have threw some reef, uh, baked beans in together, and I may still do that. But I have a light see that um, just cheap light for a camp light here the, on the picnic table so well you all have a good day and if you get to see this and you've listened to all this I appreciate it and thank you for any likes that you want to give me uh, I don't do this for likes I don't just do this for I really do it to, to share what what goes on what what I do what may work okay what may not work okay but right now I'm gonna finish eating my supper or first supper snack <laughs> so y'all take care